Hello Aries, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Before we get started, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Aries, let's get into it. This is your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. Let's find out what Divine Spirit needs you to know for the upcoming week. All right, Aries, drop in the comments below. Did anything come to pass from last week's reading? If you didn't see last week's reading, I will link it in the cards and in the description below. Divine Spirit, what do we have for our amazing Aries? Do tell. All right, Aries, let's take a look at this shadow card on the bottom of the deck. We have the devil shadow card normally points to either hopes or fears or a combination of both. But we will get into that shortly. Page of Wands, Six of Swords, and the High Priestess. All right, Aries. Hmm. Mm -mm. So definitely, we're looking at, Aries, are you considering some sort of exploration? Are you excited about something coming up, something new you may have not experienced before? All right, that's what I'm getting here first with the Page of Wands. And then... With our Six of Swords, as you can see, these are rough waters, and here we have calmer waters, right? So, you're moving on from something, moving on from something, looking to explore something else. And then with the High Priestess, oh, we love her. We love the High Priestess, do we not? <sighs> Your intuition is nudging you to explore this thing, to move on and explore. Your intuition is telling you move on and explore this thing, Aries. We're going to get some more clarification, but let's take a look at the shadow card. The devil has come up for your shadow card. Okay. So with the devil... There could be some playfulness you want to experience. It doesn't always mean terrible things when you get the devil card. And and that playfulness makes a lot more sense to me with this reading here. Ex exploring something exciting. Your intuition and your inner voice is telling you to move on and go exploring. Go do something exciting. Go do something playful. That's what I'm gathering from your reading. All right, Divine Spirit, give me some more clarification for our awesome Aries. What do we need to know for Aries, Divine Spirit? Let's get some clarification. Anything else we need to know? What else do we need to know for Aries? This is sticking out. What do we have here? Okay. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. You're going to have to adapt a little bit to this change. This exciting thing that you want to explore that will bring a lot of playfulness into your life. Moving on from whatever that dullness is, whatever that stagnation is. Okay. 
yeah, you're going to have to adapt to that. It's going to be outside of your normal Aries, right? And it's great. Change is great. It doesn't have to be as painful as we make it, right? What else do we have, Divine Spirit? The lovers. Lots of major arcana in your reading. The lovers for Aries. I feel like this... This exciting thing for you, Aries, it's going to bring you more harmony with yourself, more harmony in your life, balancing your life out. This is beautiful. This is great. What else can you tell me, Divine Spirit? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The sun card, Aries, the sun card. This is <laughs> this is one of the best cards to get. In a reading, a lot of major energy, a lot of big energy here for you, Aries. So you're going to be celebrating this exploration, this exciting, playful thing that you are going to learn more about yourself. You're going to come into better harmony with self, Aries. It's going to be successful. It's going to be fun. It's going to be joyful. Do not fret. Do not fear. Go ahead and take the leap. All right, let's go ahead and pull one card from the shaman's dream oracle for you aries divine spirit one card for aries see if i can get this deck to cooperate today a lot of big energy a single card for aries what do you have for aries divine spirit what do you have for aries single card to tell uh-huh this one wanted to pop out well song resonating all right Aries what is going this joyful playful change for you Aries will resonate so well with your soul it's going to bring you to a level of I feel like it's going to heighten your your spirituality and increase your inner wisdom because again you are going to learn so much more about yourself during this process during this transition aries this is this is amazing it's beautiful one more card from the spirit animal oracle for aries divine spirit What spirit animal will Aries embody this coming week of March 3rd through March 9th? Do tell. This is sticking out. Bad spirit. A rebirth is assured. This is all things point to yes. There is a freedom. There is an adventure that's coming your way, Aries. A rebirth is assured. That's amazing. So... I encourage you, Aries, go ahead, take the leap. Your intuition, your inner voice has been telling you, go ahead, try it. Go on, honey, take a chance. Take that chance, find joy, find playfulness. It's just going to add to your life in the most positive way. So do it, go for it. Do something wonderful for yourself, Aries, okay? Thank you so much for watching the video, Aries. I hope it resonates with you and encourages you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon, but until then, bye-bye.